Welcome, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone from all over the world. This is so exciting. So welcome to sixth annual Love Camp. I know there's a lot of new campers, but then there's some campers coming back from other years just because it's so fun. And I will say just I'm inviting you all just to put your, your audio on mute just for the recording. So it just helps a little bit to keep any background noise out, but there may be times when um, we want to hear from you too. So just, I'm just so excited and so grateful that you're joining us for the holidays because this is really a special thing that we like to do because we know that this, no matter what your relationship status is, that this time of year can be um, kind of hard for people, you know, for various reasons. And even if it's not, it's nice to have celebratory things. Oh, look at Cheryl. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so squirrel. Look, um, it's nice to have some celebratory things. And the other piece is that there is some real power in coming together, especially all of us coming together, doing this transformational work for ourselves, honoring ourselves, because Love Camp really is an opportunity to connect with yourself in a really powerful way. And in, in so many ways, it's kind of sneaky because we're doing a lot of playful things, but at the same time, everything has um, a real potency to it too. Okay, Francine is a very snorty dog and she's probably making, oh, Hopefully it's not too loud on the microphone. Um, so the, the, the invitation really is the chance to commit to yourself for these next five days or 15 days, whatever you have chosen to do. Um, the VIP takes you through the end of the year. If you haven't looked at that yet and you would like to be a part of that, you're certainly welcome to join us. And um, yeah, when you can give yourself practices and tools and community that raises your consciousness and your vibration, then, then you get to start the new year from that higher place. And personally, for me, oftentimes I found that if I was having a difficult emotional time during the holidays in my past and I didn't have resources, it really felt like sort of digging myself out of a hole at the beginning of the year. And, and that's not what <laughs> you'll have because if you're at camp and you're committing to camp and you're giving yourself even as little as five minutes a day with some of these practices, then you will notice something different. And we're here to share with you some of the key art and consciousness of finding the one tools that, you know, actually you can use for anything. But in when it comes to creating that love relationship, this is, this is magic and space and ease like you've never had before. It's not going to be a bunch of crazy dating rules or um, tips that may feel icky or may not feel authentic to you. This is, this is you coming back to you. So I'm really grateful that you're here to play with us. Um, and Larry's a big part of this too. So thank you for joining us. Nice to be here. I just love I love that we created this for ourselves, this tradition for six years now, you know, just to have this during the holidays, to have the focus on love and connection and um, just kind of being with each other. And it's just something I've been looking forward to myself, just 
just to have that focus, you know, and not be sucked into the holiday scene and the stress. Yeah, and look at, we get to create our winter wonderland in the program launch. Um, so, so today, I want to help you have the best camp experience. So this opening ceremony, at the end, we're gonna do an actual practice that, um, you know, is kind of a highlight. I know we're starting the camp with a highlight. There's a lot of highlights though at camp, but this is, we're gonna do a practice at the end that Larry's gonna support us in um, that you definitely don't wanna miss. So, but, but up until then, we're going to talk about all of the different aspects of camp. I'm gonna show you the resources that I'm gifting you. I've, I've added some new things this year. So I'm gonna go through the camp manual so you kind of get the vibe. The thing about this five-day experience is it's definitely not like any sort of five-day challenge you may have seen online before. It's, it's really different. So um, like I said, you can do this in as little as five minutes a day or you can be engaged in a lot of different ways because um, and we'll look at the schedule and I'll, I'll show you that. And I'll also, we'll be learning the morning routine, which is a really powerful thing. And we'll also um, look at, you know, all of the other details. So um, let's start with, um, well, I guess I want to say one more thing. I mean, one, one of the reasons why I like doing this camp is because there's a lot of, um, there are a lot of sort of strategies, I would say, in dating and love attracting that aren't actual strategies. So, you know, you can, you can do the hoping and wishing and visualizing all you want, but if you don't really have some actual steps to take that move you towards that, then it's not a strategy you know, that's just not something that's going to support you. So I want to be able to give you some of the woo-woo, but also some actual steps. So each day at camp, we're going to talk about a different aspect of that. So you'll get a, a class each day. And if you've been coming to camp before, guess what? It's new every year. So the five days are different every year. And um, that's probably a crazy thing that I do, but um, it does give us um, other classes to share. So it, there's just so much here. Anyway, so I wanted to say that because I know it's easy to like go to the psychic and try to get, oh, is this my year? And then hope that that actually happens and then have the frustration at the end of the year. There's, you know, making a making a list of qualities, which I do think is really helpful, but it, that in itself is not a strategy. Um, there's, you know, going online, but if you're going online and you're you're feeling like annoyed by it or frustrated by it, then that's also not a strategy because it's not coming from the energy of love and you know, this camp is generated out of what I know works, which is playing into love. And doesn't that sound so fun and easy? Yes. And <laughs> it does require, um, you know, a little bit of grit to stay on course and actually live that. Because when we're talking about matters of the heart, guess what? It's, it can, it can bring up some stuff and it can bring up some, some parts of our body that are going, no, help, you know, and, and wanting to run screaming. So, um, if you've ever felt like that around dating, I totally get it. And, um, I, my goal is to help you change that. So, um, let's dive into the love camp manual. I don't know if anyone has, has looked at it yet or not. Um, I will show you exactly where it is. And um, 
Here we go. Just one second. I'll be sharing my screen. Um, so I'm also going to put this in the chat. Actually, well, let me let's see if I can do this. I am not a talk. This is why I'm I'm a love coach and not a realtor because talking and doing something like driving or typing at the same time does not happen for me. I am giving you the link, sorry, uh, to the manual. Hopefully that works. Did I do it right? Getsuperlove.com front slash camp underscore resources. Yeah. So that's the program launch. Awesome. Thank you, Lisa. Um, and then when you get there, so I'm going to go there. I'm going to share my screen and go there, right? Am I going to do that? No, because it's not open yet. One moment, please. Um, I want to show you around that too. So having a program lodge is a new tool for me. Oh, thank you, Deborah. Yay. Okay. So, um, all right. So when you get here, you see there's a video for me. I don't even remember what I said on that video, but it's something to introduce you to the beginning of camp. Let's hope it's good. Um, anyway, then here are the three things that you really need to do if you haven't done them. Just a reminder, because this is kind of huge. You got to join the Love Camp Facebook group. I know there may be a couple of you out there who are like, yeah, but Macy, I'm not on Facebook. There are two things you can do about that. One, you could go on Facebook and use some alias name like, you know, Sugar Muffin and, and have a page for a minute and, and be there. Let me know what your alias is so I know who you are. Um, and then the other thing you can do is just not do Facebook. And then I do send out recordings. But I'm telling you, it's probably like 80% of the, the, the extra stuff does happen on Facebook, I will say. But you will get the daily practices if um, you're not on Facebook, because I will email them. Um, then step two, get your cabin. Does everyone know what cabin you're in? If you, we're going to talk about that too. Um, and then step three is invite a single friend. I mean, this is not just like, oh, you know, let's get more people to camp. It's partially that, but it's also, if you know someone who's struggling during the holidays and, you know, is feeling kind of lonely, this is actually a lifesaver for so many people. So please do tell your friends. I made up a simple URL for that. You can just send them to lovecamp.fun, www.lovecamp.fun, and then they can sign up there. And this will this is recorded so they can just watch it later. Um, so here are your virtual bunks. So let's just do a little call out for those. So if your last name starts with the letter that begins with anything between A and G, you are a hashtag gorgeous gal, and you can put hashtag GG in the comments. I'm looking. Okay. And it, oh, I see some lovely ladies. I see, oh, Sandy, you're a gorgeous gal. Deborah's a gorgeous gal. Okay. So I'm seeing some of you guys out there. So post that in the comments. If your last name starts with anything between H and L, then you are in the lovely ladies cabin. So far, I think the lovely ladies cabin feels like the most well-behaved. I don't know why. Um, the gorgeous gals. Um, yes, I am. The gorgeous gals. Uh, yeah, there's some definitely some troublemakers in that one. But I can't even talk about the unicorn lovers. That one's out of control. Um, but I am curious to know, do we have any smitten kittens? Anyone who is with the last name M through Q? Let's look in the chat. Yes, awesome. OK, we do. Oh, that's right, Cheryl. OK, all right. 
And then, of course, we seem to have a lot of unicorn lovers. So if you're a unicorn lover, post in the comments. I'd love to hear who's there. Awesome. Yes, Chelsea, of course. Look, Ben. Unicorn lovers. Oh, my gosh. A lot. Okay. So anyway, that's just really fun because now you're starting to see who's in your cabin, you're seeing like connections with other women and, you know, enjoy that. It's playful. It's, it's meant to be playful. Sometimes we'll have little competitions to see like which um, of the groups is participating the most. And that's really fun too. So use your cabin in your post. If you're posting something and you're sharing something, do your hashtag with your cabin just because it's fun to see. Um, and so in the program lunch, I have the calendar of all the things. So if you're wondering, you know, what time something is, I noticed we do have a um, typo on the, the Love Camp Clinic number one, I'll fix that. But this is also showing you all the VIP things. So if you're in VIP, then there are a couple like special clinics that we're going to do zoom calls where we're doing coaching and support. And then we're going to do Larry's doing an amazing Christmas day meditation that will also be recorded. So if you want to do the VIP and you do have things going on, you can also get that and do it later. So, and it also comes with the one-on-one -on -one session so that we can, we can have a chat. So, um, so I really encourage you to join us if you can join us for the whole VIP thing that keeps it going for the rest of the year. And then here are all the resources. So we're going to dive into um, the Love Camp manual, but I just want to show you what's here. First of all, you want to learn the Love Camp song and just hear it. We have it recorded. It's right there. But let me tell you, you're going to hear it a lot, a lot. I think you're going to learn it. I think you're going to learn it. Um, and then the Love Camp morning routine, which includes the Love Camp song. This goes over the whole morning routine, which I'm going to teach you today. And then if you're just curious about that, how to do the worthiness pledge, which is part of the morning routine, you have this here too. So there's really nothing, um, you know, missing here in terms of instruction. I did add two extra bonuses for you all this year. One of them is, hey, want to kill someone? Getting really annoyed? Don't go to jail. Yay! It's a meditation to support you in this time when, you know, sometimes you may be around people, you know, Aunt Susie, she's chewing with her mouth open, is, you know, driving you bonkers. And instead of even metaphorically choking her, you can just come to this meditation and get a little relief. So this is kind of a, it's lovely anyway. So I'm gifting you that. And this other one, which is the eight scripts to answer the dreaded question, are you dating? And honestly, I have this amazing like awareness today about that, which is these scripts aren't just about people being nosy with your, your love life. These scripts are actually really interesting reframes that you can use on yourself. How many times have you been like, oh my God, I should be, I should be married by now. I should have a relationship or I should have something different. You can use these for that too. I think they're amazing. Hopefully they'll make you laugh. I'm gifting them to you so you can access them at your leisure whenever you want. So, okay, let's dive into the manual and um, I'll share that with you. And if you have any questions, um, because I'm sharing my screen, I see you guys up on the side, just in little tiny things. So if you have any questions, feel free to use that little hand raise symbol that's somewhere down there on the bottom bar of your computer if you have a question and then that should alert me that um, I need to like shut my cake hole and like come over and talk to you. Um, okay, so, you know, Love Camp, we've shared a lot about that. I think of it as, 
you know, really a gift to yourself that rather than feeling left out or, or kind of spiraling into some disappointment or maybe feeling, you know, it's, it's sometimes I, I felt this way. I'm maybe I'm the only one, but like, I felt kind of depressed during the holidays before, even though, you know, I've had things going on or invites or this or that. It's just like, sometimes I'm just like, oh, it's been kind of hard. So this is a, this is a chance to empower you so that you are starting the year in a place where you can create whatever you want and you have new tools to do that. Um, so here we are camping. Look at how serious we are. That's because we would, I, I think I've made it pretty clear in my own life that I don't really actually want to camp camp ever again. <laughs> I think it was also 20 degrees. It's a little different. Oh, it is definitely <laughs> cold that day when we did that photo shoot. Um, but thankfully my admin person did a miraculous job of putting a tent in there. Um, so, okay, let's talk about the packing list. I love the packing list. So you're at camp. This is our, your greatest tool at camp is one, your sense of humor and two, your imagination. This is about, you know, turning up the amusement. So Oftentimes we can go into adulting mode, right? We're so serious and we think, okay, we got to get everything done. We got to be, you know, on top of things and you can still be all that and turn up your amusement. Imagine that. So simple way to do this is, and you can do this along with me. So this is going to be sort of an engaging class. We're going to go into practices in and out of talking and practices. So right now, whatever you're doing, stop for a second and arrive, close your eyes and just imagine the control panel of your emotional being. It's like, for me, I imagine it like I'm on the Star Trek Enterprise and there are all these like buttons and there's all these dials. And so in your imagination, find the dial that is your seriousness, your seriousness. And when you find that dial, turn the dial down. So in your imagination, turning the seriousness dial down. Okay, you could put it on like a, a one or something. I think you, I promise you that even if your seriousness dial is down, you're not gonna lose control of your life. And then once you have that down, Go find, your imagination will guide you to the amusement dial. Huh, I wonder if that dial is a different color or has like a clown face on it. I don't know. Um, find the amusement dial and then turn that one up. Turn it up, all the way up. See what it's like to turn it all the way up. Okay, cool. Yay, all right, so there you go. Notice the difference, notice what that's like. So that's the setting that we'll, we'll wanna keep for camp. So seriousness down, amusement up. Um, one thing I love is that our camp colors are red and green, which surprisingly, a lot of people have copied. Have you noticed that red and green is everywhere right now? Everywhere. Everywhere. What? The whole, the whole, the whole country, the whole world is, is wanting to come to love camp. So just notice that you'll be out in the world and you'll see camp colors and be like, oh yeah, camp, I'm at camp. So just play with that. And if you're inspired, you can wear red and green this week. Um, I usually try to just keep everything red and green. Um, it took a minute to get some, some uniform colors, but, um, and hey, socks count, socks count, um, socks and underwear, you got red underwear, yay. Um, so you want to bring a journal or sketchbook, it's kind of nice because you may want to take notes. So bring that. And um, I like to have a blanket for meditation. Sometimes we'll do little meditations. You can have that handy. And 
I recommend having bug spray handy. You know why we have bug spray? Why? Because there's things that may get on your nerves during the holidays. We'll probably get on each other's nerves. So we need to have the bug spray. Shh, shh. Relief, right? So I have fun with the bug spray. Um, okay, is anyone laughing yet? I don't see you guys. Please tell me you're amused. I just want to make you. I know that that's directly towards. Oh, oh, right. Well, we're <laughs> going to talk about the crunching too um, in a second. So, all right. Let me just check back with you guys really quick. Who's here? Hi, you guys. Oh, my gosh. So good to see everyone. All right. All right, so you got your virtual cabin assignment. We do not need to do that. Here is the daily schedule. So the daily schedule, this is in the Facebook group. So morning is an invitation to do our morning routine, which I'm gonna teach you in a second. That's, that's what we invite you to do first thing in the morning. Um, the next thing is that each day during camp, so whether you're at, the free camp, which starts tomorrow for five days and then closing ceremonies on Saturday, yeah, on Saturday, um, or you're continuing through uh, the end of the year with VIP, all of the morning love adventures will be posted in the group. So you will see those posted in the group. I know we're in all different time zones. So I will say that I will be posting them around 9.30, probably 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time. So that would be 8.30 a.m.-ish Pacific Time, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And that is Macy doing time zone math, which I stink at. Um, so do check for your location what that's going to be for you and know that it's there and then you know later than that you know you'll get an email with this sort of daily summary the afternoon at camp is when i will come live in the group and we do a little thing called announcements and lost and found so as you're at camp you know we're in the virtual camp there's you know a lot of different places. There are your cabins, there's a program lodge, there's the craft shop, there's the waterfront. We're gonna be using our imagination to travel to different places uh, with our love adventure practices in the morning. Um, and you may be leaving things around. Last year, we had a whole pile of underwear. I don't know how that happened, but there was some lost and found. That's what, that was, that's what occurred. But we also had people who actually they found more confidence. They found more inspiration. They lost some of their fear. They lost some of the doubt. So it's kind of a fun thing to check lost and found each day so that you're kind of recalibrating to the new you. So don't miss that. But if you, if you don't see it live, we're, I'll probably go live 1230 Mountain Time you can always come back to the group because it will be there and you can watch what was what happened then um and collect your lost and found okay then in the afternoon afternoon there's free time so i'm going to go over the free time activities in a minute that is totally something you get to play with on your own it's you know basically my gift to you with a lot of different options and it's super fun you get to pick and then in the evening monday tuesday wednesday thursday nights larry and i will be here in the evening our evening mountain time evening um at 7 p.m when we will be doing a little vespers and vespers is when we just come together we all hold hands in a circle we sing some songs and we kind of you know, acknowledge the, the things that occur during the day. So that's really fun. And it's really fun to sing camp songs with all of you. Um, okay, so now we're gonna talk about morning routine. Yeah. Yes, 
So because you guys are in cabins, right? You're in cabins, you're, you're with other campers, um, you want to keep your space nice, right? You want to be conscious of your space. One of the things that creates amazing magic and clarity in life is when you have, um, when you are happy in your space. Have you noticed that? Like when things are really kind of messy and all over the place, that can be kind of a reflection of your inner world. So a very simple way to do this is to make your bed each day. Some of you may already do that, but if you're not doing that, this is an invitation to make your bed. And the cool part about making your bed each day is we pair that with singing the Love Camp song. So, yay. Okay, hi. If you're, who, who's just joining? Is that Casey? I thought that was <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, so anyway, the Love Camp song, the lyrics are here in the manual. We're going to just sing it right now for you. So Let's will you join it. us? Some of you may have heard it before um, or been here before. So um, I'm just going to tell you the lyrics right now so that you can actually see there's real consciousness in this. So part of what the Love Camp song does is it does expand your space for creation and it it really elevates um, your frequency. So we start with Love Camp where we find our beauty. And so Love Camp where we find our beauty. Yay, how fun is that? That's pretty simple. When we know we're worthy, that's when we attract. And when we say, when we know we're worthy, that's when we attract. It's just knowing you're worthy. Guess what? We're doing a couple things around worthiness at camp. So if you've ever had that sort of chatter in your head, that's like, oh, maybe I'm not worthy of love. Okay, well, maybe, maybe I can't have this. Like, maybe there is something that is not attractive. Like any of these doubts, which we, you know, when you hear me say this, I can already feel a lot of you going, oh my God, I can't even believe I let that chatter occur in my head. You probably have sort of a sense of, well, that's not true. But there are probably moments when you may actually wonder. So what I want you to know right out the gate is all of the practices that we do around worthiness are just training wheels because worthiness in a sense, and this may sound weird, but in a sense is irrelevant because yes, you are worthy, period. Like there's no one that's not. You are here in a body on this planet as a being, period, you are worthy. As part of being a human on the planet, it's a gift with purchase. That's what I say. Worthiness is gift with purchase. Like you're here, you get that. You just get that. But sometimes it's fun to affirm it. So when we know we're worthy, that's when we attract. Because if we're buying into the lie that we're not worthy, then yeah, you, you get that. You end up in that space of separation and and not being able to receive something different. So that's why we sing this in the song. And then the next line, true love is always within us. Yes, if you have that desire for love, all of you are here. So I know that um, that is an ask. Uh, no, that is an awareness that you have that desire. You're acknowledging that desire. So. True love is always within us, so it's in you. I know when I trust it. I know when I trust it. It's my destiny. So your desire is your destiny. That's what those two lines are about. Desire is destiny. So what does that mean? That just means that if you have this desire, which usually comes with a quality of lightness of like, oh, yes, that then that's destiny. So you don't have to question that. 
So if anywhere you're going into doubt, which we're gonna really work with that. Um, and if you're unmuted, will you mute? Um, so you can um, know that if you ever go into the doubt, that's always a lie. Doubt is always a lie. So one of the days of camp, we are actually working on clearing the doubts. How fun is that? So um, so we'll, we're just going to sing it once, and then I'll show you how you work this into your morning routine. Okay. One, two, three. Love of camp, where we find our beauty, when we know we're worthy, that's when we attract. True love is always within us, I know when I trust it, it's my destiny. My destiny. Yay! So now imagine, I'm just going to stop the share for a second. Now imagine you're making your bed in the morning, right? So what's really cool is that as you're making your bed, you can sing the love camp song. Like I'm a big fan of habit stacking where you do things together mm -hmm. with something else. So you're going to be making your bed. So make your bed. Love camp where we find our beauty when we know we're worthy. That's when we attract. This is me making my bed. True love is always within us. I know when I trust it, it's my destiny. My destiny. And it's probably the exact amount of time when we do that. Hey. Um, unless you're on a top bunk, which you may need to go get the stool and whatever. Um, so that is that. So I really encourage you. And the other thing that I've been aware of this camp is moving more. So, you know, I'm kind of interested in doing some bigger gestures. So we're going to talk about the love shower now, which is kind of the next part. So you're going to make your bed and then you get to take your love shower. So you can take your love shower in the shower. You can actually take the love shower in the shower, which is so funny. Honestly, this is probably the first year I actually realized that. Um, yeah, so you can take the love shower in the shower and the love shower is, and we're gonna do it real time right now. So right now, imagine you are in a shower. Imagine receiving love. So the shower is receiving love. So as you're imagining receiving love, and it may be, you may notice that this is kind of tricky or funky and or not. So whatever you're noticing, that is totally fine. Do not make it wrong. Just be aware of where you notice receiving love. And if you notice receiving love from one direction, like as soon as I said that for me, I noticed receiving love coming from the front into my heart. So I noticed that. What did you notice? I just, <clears throat> just like a shower. You noticed it's it coming from the above. Heat coming from above, down my shoulders, my arms. Okay, cool. Just kind of moves through my body. Yeah, so whatever you're sensing, go ahead and um go ahead and notice where it's coming from initially and then turn on all the other directions so a love shower is actually when you're receiving love from all different directions so it's not just from above it's not just from front it's the sides it's the back it's all different directions it's the vegas shower i think I haven't seen this in Vegas. I just sense that there may be, maybe it's Japan actually. They love like, I love how they have fun toilets with squirty things all directions. Anyway, it's more like the shower where there's like, like the shower heads all the different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all different directions. And the beauty of that is, is the sort of consciousness is, is that it's not just from, from okay it's not just 
oh, love is only in my future or it, or I only had it in the past or I don't know if I'll ever have it. When you turn on the love shower and it comes from all different directions, you are activating the space of possibilities for love to come from all things. Okay, that's not going to work, lady. Um, so um, I encourage you to then in your regular shower or just as a meditation, sit and um, I'm going to bring fancy. Okay, you're going to have to be quiet. Um, that's not going to happen. Okay, girl, go somewhere. Um, mommy's working. Um, so, so you just want to give yourself the meditation of love coming from all different directions. And for this 30 seconds, you only need to do like 30 seconds. I know, look at her tongue hanging out. I know. Um, so yeah, join Francine for free time jazzercise. It's her only talent. Um, so so that's that part. You've made your bed, you sang the love song. Now you've done your little love shower. Notice we've already, we're only at, at like a minute and a half at this point, people. So doable, right? And now we're going to do the worthiness pledge, okay? So the worthiness pledge is an actual little meditation. Um, and this is, once again, reminding ourselves that worthiness is just here like you just have it but this is a great uh training wheels piece if there are parts of you that doesn't feel worthy and i want to say very clearly so if you're multitasking right now come back and listen right now to this i want to say this very clearly that i am very sorry for any where in your life where someone did or said something that made you believe that you are not worthy. I can 100% say that that is a lie. So anywhere where you have bought that unworthiness as real or true, when it's not, will you please destroy and uncreate it. And I'm going to ask you questions like this regularly at camp where I'll say, will you please destroy and uncreate it by saying yes out loud. So anywhere where you or your body in this lifetime or any other lifetimes bought that you were unworthy of love, whether it was from words or actions, will you please right now by saying yes out loud, destroy and uncreate it. So just saying yes out loud, releasing the energy of that, releasing the energy of that. You know, even if you have a strong sense of worthiness, mm -hmm. saying this pledge out loud is just extra. Yeah. It's just like a booster. It feels good. It's affirming. It just reinforces. Yeah, you're right. It totally is. And Hello, it's a pledge. How fun is it to do a pledge? I think it's really fun. So here's how it goes. You make a W, this is a W, for worthiness, for worthiness. And then you're gonna bring that W to your heart. So just consciously go from here. So this is when you guys, you're doing this with us. Alert, alert, come join us. Bringing that W to your heart, and then you can place your other hand on top of it. So what I love about this process is it reminds you of gift with purchase. Worthiness is inherent. Worthiness is essentially irrelevant because of course you're worthy. Yes, you are worthy. And so we're just bringing that in, just going, oh yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna use the mantra, which is, I am worthy of love. I am worthy of love. I choose love. I choose love. Now, now, now. Now, now, now. Yes. So very simple. We're going to do a simple round where we'll say it once out loud. Actually, let's do it twice out loud. 
twice in a whisper, twice silent. So you'll hear your own voice saying it to yourself in your head. And then we'll come back to a whisper and then we'll come back to out loud. That will be the pattern. I'm not sure what I say in the manual. I may have, I may have said three times each. I don't remember. Let's just do two. Um, you can do whatever you want. You can do one of each, whatever. Um, but just do it. Like give yourself this because it's really powerful. So when you do this, when you're saying it out loud, you're saying it out loud, you are speaking to the universe, you're the world. You're speaking to the world. When you say it in a whisper, you are speaking to your beloved. So you're speaking to acknowledging, and I like to think of it as like acknowledging the, the gift of your future partner, your beloved, the beloved that is you, you as you. And then we're, when you're speaking mentally, you're going even deeper. You're going to your soul. You're speaking to your soul. So out loud, whisper, silent. Okay, so up, over, feel that connection, connect into you, and begin. I am worthy of love. I choose love now, now, now. I am worthy of love. I choose love now, now, now. I am worthy of love. I choose love. Now, now, now. I am worthy of love. I choose love. Now, now, now. I am worthy of love. I choose love. Now, now, now. I am worthy of love. I choose love. Now, now, now. I am worthy of love. I choose love. Now, now, now. I am worthy of love. I choose love. Now, now, now. Give yourself a moment to just experience it, sense it, perceive it in all cells of your body, just waking up to going, oh yeah, I remember now. Thank you. Thank you, I remember now. I remember now, okay, awesome. So taking a breath, returning back into the space and there you go, morning routine, ding, ding, ding. That's less than five minutes. So for those of you who I said, hey, come to camp, as in you can do it in as little as five minutes a day, this is what I'm talking about. You do this five days in a row, see what happens. And a lot of people will come back to me in March or April and even May and tell me, I'm still doing the morning routine from Love Camp. I'm still making my bed. I'm still doing some of these practices because they're so powerful. Okay, so there we go. So now let's, let's, anybody have any questions? How is that? Let's, like, let's actually open up to anybody who wants to share. How is that? Feel free to just pop off um, mute if you have anything you want to share on that. Yeah, go ahead, Francis. You have to come off mute, though. I'm wondering how we communicate with each other in the cabins and or, or whatever. Where do, oh, we, where do we connect with each other? In the, in the Facebook group, all of the lovely. members will be there. I mean, and hopefully a lot of you um, may still need to join the Facebook group actually because it was it was showing that we're we're still missing some campers in there super loved it says super loved camp no this one is called love camp 2021 yeah i think i joined you i'm pretty sure you're in there yeah, yeah. i remember seeing you in there thank you yes yes and so 
we'll have some call outs to different cabins, but yeah, I mean, I really encourage you to play in there. I mean, I would say, thanks, Deborah. I love that. I appreciate that so much. The Facebook group is right there. If you haven't joined, please join because that's going to make a big difference. And um, I just end up being in there a whole bunch. And there's lots of little reminders and inspirations that you'll get as a benefit. So um uh, what I was going to say is feel free to post in there, you know, share your experiences. Let us know, wow, I've done, I did morning routine this morning. I love letting it be a very like engaged space. It's not a space to like then go in and sell a bunch of products. It's not really, it's not for that. It's really camp focused and transformation focused and even I need some support focused, you know, this is um, your chance to have the community you've been asking for. So, um, all right, was there any, oh, Polly, hi. So at a gathering last night, I referred to myself as an old maid and I felt really awful when I did that. How can I undo it? Okay, just just undo it. Like, here's how we undo it. We go, oh, <laughs> I was hysterical. What was I thinking? And then you go, I'm not going to do that again. I don't think I'm going to do that again. That just didn't feel fun, right? So, yeah, I was just surprised that I even said it. I don't know where it came from. But part of the unworthiness, you know, getting older, so it's too late for me kind of idea. Well, Which yeah, is- I wonder what we can... Um, <clears throat> this week around that like you already have a head start you know that is something that you're interested in leaving behind I mean one really powerful tool for that is just to begin to go okay wow that was then last night last night I chose that that was then this is now I'm excited to to move forward and refer to myself in more inspired ways Mm-hmm. And then maybe you, you you ask the universe or the or consciousness to show you some fun words that you can use to describe yourself. What cabinet? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, gorgeous gals. Oh, there you go. You're a gorgeous gal. Um, that's fun in itself. Um, Thanks. You're welcome. And come to VIP. We'll keep going. Okay, Casey. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry, I was going to say that when you're when you're sleeping and you're dreaming and then you wake up, especially this time of year and you're cozy and then you get up, the world is waiting to rush in. And the song is just another way to go. Hold my camp badge, bitches. I'm not quite ready. (laughs) And then to put your just put your own space into it so that you control the very first part of your story of the day instead of just allowing things to rush in. What do you have to do? Where do you have to go? What didn't you do yesterday? It's just another way to say, nope, I'm in charge here. I'm in charge of my vibe. I'm in charge of my, my love vibe. I'm going to, I'm going to grab it today. You don't grab, I grab. So I I forgot how great the song really is. I'm so psyched. Are, where are you reporting from? Are you in? Wait, what cabin are you in this year? Lovely ladies. Okay, so you're in lovely ladies. I'm in lovely ladies. I and see. see you guys. Look at how beautiful the walls are in lovely ladies. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Like going on, baby. What can I say? French toast in 30 minutes. What? <laughs> that is so true. It seems like the first thing that comes up in the morning is really what sets your day for the whole day. It's like you keep, it's sort of like that saying where you have a bad, are you having a bad day or did you have a bad five minutes that you yeah. dwelled on the whole day, you know? So um, that's the whole thing around gratitude practice. First thing in the morning, what do you want? What do you want to focus on? And it's just, that's it. That's the whole day ends up being all about that. Yay, really it is cool. so fun. I'm so, I can't wait for you guys to play with it. So, okay. Do we have your 
commitment to five days of morning routine. Let's just go there, you know. Raise your hand, you know, shake your unicorn horn, uh -uh -uh, you know, twerk. I don't know how to do that, but if anyone does, yes. Okay. Yay. And really, really, really give yourself that because I promise you, like, Less than five minutes a day. And plus, if you do the morning routine for five days in a row, you get a raffle ticket. This is a no brainer. Like, raffle ticket to win billions of unicorn dollars worth of prizes, which is true. I mean, it's going to be amazing. Um, okay, Cheryl, we'll take one more share. Hello. Hi. What are we sharing again? Anything? What was, what, tell us, what was your inspiration to lift your hand up? Oh, you know, what Casey said that, you know, it is so true. You set your day when you get up in the morning and it's, it's critical to move you through the rest of the, um, the rest of the day. Yes. Wait till you get to the rest of the day. So here you are, you've done your morning routine and now you're gonna get your daily love adventure. So I'm gonna give you a little highlight. And so, okay, first, first day. Oh, okay. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about where we're going at camp. You're gonna be like, yeah, but Macy, like what benefit am I gonna get from doing that? And maybe I'll tell you, maybe I won't, I don't know yet. Um, so today we're, we're focusing on choosing it, choosing it. So Larry's going to do practice around that, which is super rad. You're going to love it. Um, day one, tomorrow, we're going to meet at the outdoor love camp theater, which is new to camp. And so your cabins, so your cabins are over there. We're at the program lodge. The waterfront is back there. The craft shop is right, you know, on the other side of this building. And then the theater is beyond that. And then the sports field is down there. So I just gave you a tour of camp. So that's just keep that in mind. Um, so we're going to go to the theater. We're going to do a special practice and it's called be it, be it. So we're going to do choose it, be it. On day two, we're going to the craft shop and you are going to need to bring some basic supplies. One of the things I'm gonna invite you to bring, actually, would you do me a huge favor and go grab the sticks that I have on the counter over there? I would want you to dig up some yarn. Okay. I want you to dig up some yarn um, that you may have around. If not, go out and get some yarn. Um, it doesn't have to be fancy yarn. You can go to the thrift store and get some yarn that, you know, a craft project that went south and now it's a thrift store. Um, and you'll, you'll want to have that for day two. And that's about trust. That's when we're going to clear out the doubts. It's called creating your good eye. It's so fun. Day three, we are going to go for a canoe ride. We're going for a canoe ride on day three. So meet us at the waterfront. You don't have to write this down. I'll let you know. Um, I'm just giving you a highlight. Day four, day four. Oh, day four. Okay. Yeah, day four, we're going to do a special program up at the program lodge. Um, I can't really tell you more about that right now. Day five, we are doing, oh, we're going to the sports field, but don't panic if you're not sporty. Okay, we're going to go play on the trampolines. <gasps> okay, I love that one. Okay, and then the closing ceremonies on Saturday. And that's when we're going to do closing camp prior. So if you've been to camp before, we usually did it earlier, but now we're going to do closing campfire on Saturday, um, 10 a.m. Mountain Time. So that's the highlight of the curriculum. If you're in VIP, we're just going to keep going after that. Um, all right. So now I'm going to come back to share my screen. So we'll, we'll finish with this uh, manual review. And then we'll go into the practice that we're doing with Larry. Um, Okay, so we sang the Love Camp song. And, okay, Worthiness Pledge, we did that. We talked about daily love adventures. 
Thursday, um, I will tell you is what we do, which is called All Camp Talent Show and Tell During. That, that's a whole day is dedicated to that. This is about sharing your gifts. You can read it in the manual. I will give you a heads up, but it's when we open the, the Love Camp group for anyone to share. So I know that you all have gifts. And when it comes to relationship, you being you, you and all of your uniqueness, all of your, you know, quirkiness, funkiness, gifts and talents and beauty, you're bringing that to relationships. So this is an opportunity to actually begin to share you. So whatever it is, if you're a photographer, you may share photos. If you um, like to bake, you may share a picture of muffins. You may, if you feel like I don't really have anything, well, what does inspire you? Share something that inspires you. Is it as a poem that you read? There's, there's all sorts of things and there's pretty much no limit. I would just say, you know, if you're going to record like a 30 minute concert of you playing piano or something, maybe cut it down to like three minutes, like have, have it something consumable that can be in the group. Um, so more on that later. If you participate in talent show, you automatically get a raffle ticket. Um, closing campfire ritual, that's on Saturday with the closing camp first banquet. You get special food. We're making you a special virtual meal. Who wants mashed potatoes? I do. Um, so lost and found, we talked about that. Unicorn church. Now, this is for those of you who would like a little spiritual sparkle. Click that link. You can go join Reverend Lunch Lady in Church of Kitchy Love and do some, have some uh, sermons. Wink. They're hilarious. Um, evening Vespers. That's what we're doing in the evenings. Okay, I know, right? Do not panic. I know I'm sharing a lot with you. You get to consume all, as much as you want. Don't let this be an overwhelm thing at all. Now we're here at free time. So this is this is where you can do a five minute ish activity in the afternoon. If you're feeling like you have some space and you would like to add more to your camp experience, come to this manual and then um, you're going to follow your inspiration as to what it is that you would like to do. So we have craft shop and you can follow that. These are all little inspirations. So you've got to walk through and, and you can use your camp counselor, which we're going to, and I'm going to introduce you to your camp counselor in a second. We have cute, adorable little yoga class. This is literally a mini, mini, super mini yoga class, mini Kundalini yoga class. Um, Self-love swim, nature hut. These I'm gonna invite you to read on your own. Camp out. These are all little things that you can do that like support you, but you're unique. So whatever your spirit is asking for, this archer pose one is very interesting. You can go down to archery and this is very helpful in focusing your intentions. Oh, if you're wanting to do that. Practice. Yes, yes, it is. Dance party with your beloved. I always recommend this one. Although we ask that you don't do it after 10 p.m. at night in the cabins. Um, anyway, if you like to practice having your own energetic space, you could go hula hoop. That's a really fun one. Um, this one is also really fun. This is... Um, the, the inspiration that comes with playing with baby animals, and there's a video for that. So um, maybe if you feel like you still need to amp up the worthiness, you can come do this little tapping routine. Look at Vintage Macy. Um, I made this at a camp a couple years ago. And you can cook, you can meditate. This is the super duper deluxe absorbent conqueso worthiness pledge. It's a longer version of the worthiness pledge where we go through each of the sections for a lot longer. Anyway, lots of really cool things that you can participate in. So 
That brings us to the camp raffle, which I've already shared with you some of the ways. You know, participate in the talent show. I didn't write that here. Or invite a person to camp. For every person you bring to camp, you get a raffle ticket. So just know that if you have a bunch of raffle tickets, then there's more chances of winning a prize. So just let me know. We're going to take um, we're going to take inventory of that later at camp. And here's another really powerful thing. Remember when I mentioned camp colors, red and green? You're going to see that around. You're also going to see Hank around a lot. Meet Hank. He's part of camp. He, you know, you'll also often see him lugging around big bags. Sometimes he's taking out the trash. Sometimes he's coming from Costco. Like, I don't know. Either way, like, you'll see him around camp. Camp is an activator of gratitude. So every time you see Hank out at camp in the world, then just say, thanks, Hank. And when you say thanks, Hank, you're reminding yourself of your decision to make the choice for you to come to camp. And believe it or not, there are a lot of people who aren't willing to make a choice for change. And you are one of those people who are making a choice for enhancing your life, um, nurturing your consciousness and developing space to receive love because love camp is about that creating the space the consciousness and the mindset so that you can create something different in your relationship space hank is a big part of that so use that and you can come back and read this this gratitude activator is really fun so we'll be saying hi to him a lot Okay, now here's where we get to the me, the, the part where I feel like I have to be kind of mean, to be a little stern and talk about the wicked kit, strict camp rules. Okay, um, I know you guys, I know you're not rule followers. I know it, I can see it. Look, I see Cheryl on my screen and she's got it written all over her face, like Shanana Gins, <laughs> you know, shenanigans, trouble maker. Okay, that's fine. It's not a judgment. It's just, you know, we just need to kind of talk about the, the thing about camp is it's about developing the safety and security within you so that you can receive a relationship, so that you can feel, um, you can have the capacity to open up and have that vulnerability and uh, intimacy with yourself, with yourself. So we have these, you know, security cameras all around. We have security. This is really the metaphor for you being willing to kind of notice how you function, right? Polly, amazing example of this. She shared. Wow, I called myself this, you know, old lady or whatever you said, I can't remember. And now you're like, why did I do that? That felt terrible. So she, old maid. Old maid, yeah. So you you had you had your secure see security cameras have been on for the last two weeks already. I actually put up new ones just the other day. That's the thing. That's called awareness. That's called noticing. The relationship with yourself and that didn't feel good you wouldn't want some other person to say hey old maid and you felt it so now you get to make a choice for something different so this is what the the safety and security camera thing is all about like how much are you aware of what it is that you have been choosing and what other choices would you like to make to support you in love? You may, well, we're gonna play with this even more. It, it supports us in so many powerful ways. So, 
Anyway, let's just talk about the regular camp rules. Some of them you're like, why are we talking about this? But we are. Number one, no streaking in the woods. Okay, so if you're, um, if you're running around naked at camp, you might step on a pine cone, you might, you know, stub your toe on a, a raccoon. I don't know, something could happen. So you want to be aware of that. No dance parties or loud talking or barnyard noises after curfew. So after late night, because, you know, we have the security camera on it for hearing loud noise at night. You know, we're, we're going to be aware of that. No disrespecting staff or writing on their faces while they're sleeping. Remember when that happened? Yes. Yeah. Like Larry and I woke up with little mustaches at a Sharpie of all markers. Lasted for two weeks. Um, no leaving camp or visiting other camps. We had one year where... Not only did they leave camp, remember we got those photographs, they were mooning the boys camp. So we had these photographs of these naked booties on a canoe. Anyway, okay, and then the fifth one is no crunching. How many of you like, you know, have those things where you're just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So this, this actually is just maybe a personal one for me. It's like no crunching. Like when you hear someone crunching, I think it's actually something that's in the genes, right? It's a biological yes. disorder I have. Yeah, something. Anyway, um, no crunching. So, and I repeat, no shenanigans at camp. Otherwise, failure to comply to wicked strict love camp rules results in disciplinary action determined by camp director, that's me. So anyway. That's sort of meant to be fun, but I know what happens when you tell people to not do something, and then they start doing all the things, right? Um, so don't have fun at camp. How about that one? All right. So now, any questions? Any questions? How many of you are troublemakers? Just admit it. I'll just, I mean, okay. All right. Security for that's a gorgeous gal. Security upgrade. How many? Up, oh, and smitten kittens. I already know the unicorn lovers for trouble. How do you spell it? Starts with tr, ends with rubble. Um. Okay. Anyway, all right. So I just had a question about this version of Zoom because I don't usually have any trouble with Zoom. Oh yeah, but this one didn't allow me to come on unless I did it through my browser. And I'm just seeing my email address in the list of names, not my actual name. And then I don't see everybody in a gallery. Is that the way it's supposed to be? I just see you and Larry and then a little screen of me at the top, but I don't, and then you know other what? people come because on I just for- it, Maybe I may have um, <clears throat> pinned it because of the recording. Um, and okay. I'm not sure, honestly, I'm not sure what, what that is. So I can't really answer that question. Okay. Um, so yes. How many raffle tickets if you break all the rules? Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know. You're the, I, net zero raffle tickets. Um, anyway. Okay. So. What I wanted to talk to you first is, was there another question? Sorry. Oh no. Okay. What I want to introduce you to really for first is your camp counselor. And then we're going to go into actually our choice for love today. So your camp counselor is that you within you that's been with you for lifetimes and this inner camp counselor becomes a resource for camp. So if you are like, I don't know what to do this afternoon. I don't know what free time activity to do. I, I'm feeling um, like doubt or question or actually I'm feeling really inspired. I wanna share this. You can share it in the group, but you can also connect with your inner camp counselor. You can even have your camp counselor help you make your bed. 
So, or do some other things in your life or support you in having more ease in your life. That's what the camp counselor does. It's that inner knowing, that inner power, that support, that kindness, that connection that reminds you that you're never alone, that you are part of a greater matrix of connection on the planet. So right now, get comfortable in your seat. This is a very short practice. And just close your eyes for a moment. Turn up your imagination. Let your imagination guide you. And as you close your eyes, just arriving in the space of you, almost like you're arriving at your cabinet camp. So you're arriving there, sensing yourself, your body and your being as you arrive at your cabinet camp. And you may even sense, you know, being cozy on your bed with your cozy blanket and your pillows. You may sense the temperature of the cabin. Whatever it is, just noticing that sense of arriving at camp. And you may even notice feeling a little bit of anticipation. So feeling that anticipation, what's to come? What am I going to receive here? And just sensing that. And just noticing how fun it is to know that you are in a supportive place where you will be able to receive exactly what you need. And you know this because you're Consciousness supports you. Consciousness supports you. Consciousness has your back. So knowing that love camp holds the consciousness that has your back to support you in getting what you need this week. And taking a breath as you feel that in your body, that sense of support. And now on the next breath, your imagination is going to reveal your camp counselor, just like that, pop. And it may take a minute for you to sense or perceive this. And whether you're visual or sensory or, or just have a knowingness of this, whatever way you're aware of it, just receive it now, receive it, allow it, knowing that you can't do this wrong or more right, just receiving the sense of your camp counselor. And it may show up as a person, but it may show up as an energy or it may show up as a, an angel or a fairy or a tree or even space. Whatever it is that you're receiving, just being present with your inner camp counselor here and now. And noticing how it feels in your body to have this. And if there's for some reason you're, you're not sensing anything, just notice that space. Because space is a very supportive energy. There's no nothingness. Nothingness is space. Give yourself whatever it is that is here. So noticing how it feels to receive that now. And as you're here present with your inner camp counselor, just being aware of anything that's arising as you're here, you'll get a sense of what your inner camp counselor is here to provide you this week. And it may come in sensations, it may come in words, it may come in pictures, it may come in space. Just receiving, allowing, what it is 
words, energy, space, that your inner camp counselor is here to provide you. We're here to remind you of. Receiving, receiving that now. And you may even notice as you're aware of the messages, the energies, the space, the consciousness that is here now, may even want to receive it specifically, like receiving it all into your body, like a stream of colored energy. So whatever you're aware of here, the words, the energies, receiving it into your body like a stream of colored energy, noticing the color and quality and where it's coming in. And with each breath, just noticing how that naturally circulates throughout your whole being. the support of the energy, the space, the words, the pictures. And knowing that you may even have questions for your inner counselor. And at any time during camp, you can ask your inner camp counselor questions. And in this space of being with your camp counselor, you can receive that support. Taking a couple deep breaths here. And as you arrive back into the space, just noticing what that was like, what that was like for you. Very simple, very fast. How was that? Post in the comments anything you noticed about that. I know we did a very quick one during um, Love Camp clinics for VIP. We'll be doing longer practices that are like that. But this is just for you to have a sense that you can are connected to this wisdom, this wisdom within you at all times. So I love to use that for guidance in free time activities, for guidance when maybe things are a little chaotic during the week or at work, or you know, you're feeling kind of lonely. Use this as a tool. Okay. How's that sound? Move around or wave your hands if you, you're saying yes to that. So anything that doesn't allow you to be, know, perceive, or receive your inner camp counselor, will you please destroy and uncreate any of those limitations right now by saying yes out loud? Yes. Okay, awesome. Awesome, I love that. Yes, oh my gosh. Exactly, Robin, I love that. I asked my inner camp counselor for support and breaking my doubt about spending my time doing what seems a little silly. Yes. This is, I'm guessing that there's probably a little bit of silliness and giddiness or, you know, spending time doing silly things in your love relationship. Am I right? How many of you are asking for a relationship where you can be kind of silly or you can just relax and not have to do anything or not have to prove anything or not have to work so hard? Like if you are asking for a relationship that includes the lightness, includes some silliness, includes the laughter, includes that, will you post in the comments? Please love to see that. And now we are gonna do our closing for the opening or closing to the opening ceremony, which is really making the choice for love. And we call this Yes, I'm having that, no doubt about that. So that is the mantra, I'm having that, no doubt about that, because 
when we are wishing and wanting for something, that is actually pushing it away, believe it or not. When you're wanting something, the definition of want is that you lack it. And most people are saying, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. But when you do that, you're affirming that it is stays away from you. Isn't that interesting and crazy? I know most of you probably have, have learned this in law of attraction tools and other practices, but how many times do we forget that? So we are making a choice for having that love relationship, having what it is that you desire. When you desire it, that is within you. Having it as, out, I mean, wanting it as outside of you, acknowledging that desire within you by, by actually declaring, I am having that. So right now, as you're aware of what it is you've been asking for in love, in life, that can include all the things. I don't think any of it's separate. In fact, I say how you love your life is your love life. So it's all included. And speaking to, I'm having that. So everyone say that out loud. I'm having that. I'm having that. I'm having that. I'm having that. Yes. So then we add in, no doubt about that. Why? Because it rhymes and it sounds really cool. And it sort of has, you know, it just reminds us that, Doubt is a lie anyway, by the way. Doubt is just distracting us from what we can actually, our real witchy woman powers, which are that we can create anything. And I know that's hard to believe, but you can. You've created all of you that you are in right now and no judgment, no right or wrong or good or bad, but you created this. So you get to create whatever you want in the future. I'm having that, no doubt about that. So we're gonna do this as a chant for a couple minutes and let it get into every cell of our being, okay? So we're gonna go back and forth. You guys enjoy it however you want. I would say chant the whole thing. And Larry's gonna do some drum and let's do this. So be aware. So wherever you're just sensing and perceiving, the love story that's uh, in your heart. So it doesn't have to have a picture. You don't need to know six foot four, lawyer, blah, blah. You don't need to know any of that. Just getting into that sense of like, ah, oh, yes, love. I am excited to create my love story this year. I'm so happy and grateful that I'm aware that I can have that. So now we are declaring I'm having that and we'll move forward. So let's begin. I'm having that. No doubt about that. 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 I'm having that. So move around. I'm having that. No doubt about that. 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 that. I'm having that. 
doubt about that. I'm having that. No 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 doubt about that. Just really like sense that space of what it is you're asking for, knowing that no matter what you, whatever you're asking for, it is inevitable that you will receive it. It may be surprising though. It may be surprising how you receive it. You may even be able to look back in your life and see different things. Like I remember when I was asking to do this kind of work, when I was asking to do this kind of work, you know, 25 years ago, and it didn't occur until 10 years ago, but 25 years ago, I was asking for this kind of career to be able to share with you and teach and do this kind of stuff, have women's camp every day, which is what I asked for. And it took a couple different times where I laid off from corporate jobs where it's like, hey, hint, hint from the universe. Nope, still went back to, to the next corporate gig, next corporate gig, next corporate. So I was in doubt. I was in fear. I was like, oh, well, I can't do that or have that. Same with relationships. I was like, I really want someone who's creative who gets me. And instead of, you know, really asking for that clearly, I would just stumble across a person. And it, okay, I know it's not, it wasn't exactly like that, but it sort of felt like I tripped over someone and like, oh, let's make this work. You know, it wasn't exactly that, but it was sort of that. And it's just, I promise you, it will occur. It does take consciousness and steps to not buy into the fear, the doubt, the overwhelm, the, the oh, I should be doing something else. Oh, this is, you know, this is not the way it, it's supposed to happen, like to be open, to change your consciousness so that you can actually recognize it when it shows up and to give you more ease along the way. So Love Camp is gonna give you the ease along the way so that you, know, you don't have to really suffer in the fear, the frustration, the worry, the doubt, and all of the things that can derail us. So how does that sound? So we start tomorrow with our first love adventure. I'm so excited. I'm so grateful you are all here and that you stuck with us for an hour and a half this morning. I know that was a lot, but there's just so much I want to give you in this. And I really want you to be able to have the most rich experience for whatever time you have to um, join us. And the more you can participate, the more you will get out of this. So, you know, making that commitment for you is like having that kind of relationship where you, you don't have to think about, should I call? Should I call? No, it's just like, oh yes. Yes. It's that kind of relationship. So give that to yourself where you know, you'll show up for you and have that. Awesome. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jody and Deborah and everyone. I'm just seeing some chats. Um, so please do. Your number one thing is to join the Love Camp group. The number two thing is to ask, uh, invite friends. Choose to invite friends. We still can invite people. And the number three thing is to get your Love Camp manual, be ready for morning routine, and you're on your own for morning routine tomorrow. So set your alarm accordingly for your, you know, three to five minute adventure. And then join us in the group for our daily practice, 1230 noon for our announcements, our lost and found, which is super fun. Um, don't leave your underwear on camp because I'm going to show it on camera. 
Um, and then the, the evening, Larry's going to come home from his, his office and join us in some songs. And I'm going to teach you more Love Camp songs. So thank you. Any questions before we go? If you have any questions, let me know. Write me in the group. Write me directly. I'm here. Macy at Big Happy Love. Dot com. Write me. I'm happy to answer your questions. Um, but I'm sure your question is somebody else's question. So you can also post in the group so that everyone gets to hear. All right. Have an amazing day at camp. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye.